Hello there, it's my favorite time of the week because I get to be with you guys again. Thank you so much for tuning in to Watch Kids Connect today. To start with today, I'd like you all to stand up because we're going to play a game. It's a game to find out how clever you are. I'm going to ask you a question and there's going to be two answers and you've got to choose which one is the right answer. If you think the right answer is the first thing I give you, then you're going to run to this side of the room that you're in. If you think it's the second thing, you're going to run to this side of the room. Alright, let's see how clever you are. First question, is an apple a fruit or a vegetable? Run this way if you say it's a fruit, this way if you say it's a vegetable. Excellent, it's a fruit, well done. Right, let's do a number one now. I'm going to ask you a sum, you need to tell me what the answer is. What is the answer to five plus two? Is it ten or is it seven? Well done, clever kids. It's seven. That's great. All right, let's do one about current affairs. Current affairs. Is the president of South Africa at the moment Cyril Ramaphosa or Nelson Mandela? Yeah, you can't stop, you guys. It's Cyril Ramaphosa. Good job. All right, let's do an art one. If I mix blue paint and yellow paint together, what color does it make? Does it make green or purple? <laughs> Good job. It makes green if you mix yellow and blue together. Well done, you guys did a really super job. Let's do one last one. This one's going to be a Bible question. There's a story in the Bible about a man that gets thrown in a den with lions. Is it Noah or Daniel? Well done, guys. It's Daniel. You certainly are very clever, boys and girls. Now, each week, we have a visit from a superhero. And today's superhero is extraordinary. She is the cleverest person I have ever met. So hold on to your chairs because this is going to blow you away. I am a wise woman and there is no one in the whole entire world wiser than me. I can do any sum, even the big sums. I know 1,327 languages and I just learned two last night. When I was one and a half, I learned how to read. And when I was four, I finished school. Everyone wants me on their quiz team. And when I was two, that was the only time I made a spelling mistake. I left one out of uncharacteristically. I am a wise woman and there's no one wiser than me. Wow, we wasn't wise woman just amazing. She just her ability to learn things and know things and remember things and answer all those questions just sure it was just incredible. But you know, listening to her talking, I could be thinking a bit. I don't know if she should really be called wise woman. A better name for her would be Clever Woman, because I'm sure you agree she's definitely very, very clever. But I'm not 
aren't sure that that really means that she's very wise. Like I told you before, when I'm not sure about something, I go to my Bible and I read there about something to try and understand it. Now, the Bible talks about being wise and having wisdom such a lot. But nowhere in the Bible where I looked does it say that being wise means getting all your sons right or knowing how to spell even really long words. The Bible explains that wisdom is using what we know to make good choices. So it's not just what we know, it's actually taking what we know and what we've learned and what we've experienced and then doing good things, using what we know to help us make good choices. And so maybe she's not such a wise woman after all. Maybe she's more of a clever woman. But today, I want us to think a bit more about being wise or having wisdom. And I've got a really super story from the Bible to share with you now. Solomon was the king of Israel. Many people in Israel had problems and arguments with other people. They go to King Solomon to decide who was right. One night, Solomon heard God speak to him, saying, Ask me for anything at all, and I will give it to you. Solomon prayed to God and said, I don't know how to be a good king. Please, God, give me wisdom. Help me to be wise. Help me to know what's right and what's wrong when the people need my help. Because you did not ask for something for yourself, God said, I will make you wise like no other king has ever been. And I'll also make you rich and famous. Two mothers live together, each with their own newborn baby. One of the babies died. Its mother swapped it for the live baby and pretended that it was hers. She wouldn't give it back. The mothers kept arguing. It's my baby. No, it's my baby. They went to see King Solomon to ask for his help. Both the women told the king it was their baby. They wanted help with deciding whose baby it really was. Solomon had a wise idea. Give the mothers half of the baby each, he said. He knew that the real mother would save her own child and not let her baby be chopped in half, but rather let the other woman have him. The one mother wanted them to have half the baby each, but the real mother cried, Don't hurt my baby! She can rather have him! So the king knew who the real mother was. People heard how wise and how fair King Solomon was and that he knew what was right and what was wrong. They came from far away to hear the wise words that God had given King Solomon. Solomon asked God for wisdom and God gave him wisdom. The Bible says that we can do the same. It says in James chapter 1, verse 5, If any of you need wisdom, you should ask God, and it will be given to you. God's power in us gives us wisdom. The Bible also tells us that we can gain wisdom by listening to wise people and listening to teaching and taking people's instructions and really trying to put them into practice. Now, all of us need wisdom. 
all of us listening to this and I know for me speaking this, we need wisdom. We might not have people coming to us with their baby to decide whose baby it is, like King Solomon did. But we've got lots of situations every day where we need wisdom. Imagine this. Your mom says to you, come on, up you get. It's time to go to church. You've got to make a wise choice. Am I going to stay curled up in bed or am I going to head off to church? Or you're at school and there's lots of different people you could choose to be your friend. Are you going to choose to be friends with the naughty kids that are always very rude and are always getting into trouble with the teacher? Or are you going to choose to be friends with nice people that have nice manners and are going to help you to behave and be a good boy or a good girl? We've got to be wise about how we choose to spend our time. Each day we've got time that we need to decide how am I going to spend it? Am I going to lie on the couch all day with my feet up in front of me and sit on my tablet looking at YouTube videos? Or am I going to decide, let me do a few different things. Let me play with my baby sister. Let me go for a bit of exercise. Let me eat some healthy food. We've got lots and lots of choices to make every day. Let's pray together now and ask God to fill us with wisdom. Ask him to help us to become more and more wise. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that your word says that if we don't have wisdom, we can ask you and you'll give us wisdom. Lord, that's what we want to do today. We want to ask you to make us more wise. Help us to listen to wise people. Help us to read your word and put it into practice. Help our wisdom to grow, Lord, we pray. Amen. I wonder if you know that when we ask God, nothing is impossible. You might be feeling, oh, little old me, how can God make me wise? He can. He really, really can. We're going to sing a song now just before we finish off. And it's called, Nothing is Impossible. Through you, I can do all things. Nothing is impossible. Let's get up and move those bodies and sing and dance with this song.
Well done, guys. It has been lovely being with you today. Now, today, you don't have a craft in your craft pack to do. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Today, I'd like you to draw a picture of that story of Solomon and the two women and their one baby. And I'd like you to get your mom to send me a photo of the picture that you drew. I want to be able to put them all up on our Kids Connect Facebook page and have a look at all those pictures. So even if you live far away, get my number and send it to me so that we can share all those amazing pictures from you artists. It's been lovely spending time with you. I hope you have an awesome week. I love you lots and we'll see you really soon. Bye.